How much salt and bullshit are you detecting? The bullshit. It's over 9,000! Guys, we're gonna talk... Okay, ignore the cringy introduction. But we're gonna talk... I'm gonna rant about Dragon Ball Super and the fucking critiques about it. Don't get me wrong. I will not speak of the animation. Because it's unanimous. You can't even debate it. It sucks. But, slight debate for it. DBZ's animation wasn't always fantastic and amazing. It's legit nostalgia just clouding y'all brains most of the time. I watch all the DBZ and Dragon Ball. <laughs> y'all y'all overreacting like some shit ain't even where to go. The fuck cares? But we're talking about power levels and specifically Goku's uh ability to get manhandled by things that you would not expect to. Let me just state, any character in Dragon Ball Z with their key not activated can be shot. That's a fact. Bullets can pass through them. The humans, Saiyans, only people, only things I'm positive that can't just be shot at is the gods. Anyone god level. And I'm not talking about Goku. I mean, not mortal, okay? <laughs> it, you can't just shoot them with something. It, it won't work. But... Goku can be shot at. If you catch him off guard, if I was legit a sniper and I aimed a bullet at Goku and he didn't know it was coming and I shoot him, I can kill Goku. It, that's what I'm trying to let y'all guys know. He's not indestructible. This is what I think kind of lets him lose in any fight against Superman because his abilities... Superman would just laser shoot him with a laser vision and Goku's not paying attention. Just blast through him. But... Goku versus Krillin. Now, in my personal opinion, it was a test. Goku was not going 100%. And obviously, we all know Goku is way stronger than Krillin. I'm positive the writers are not that fucking stupid where they allow Krillin to be stronger than Goku or even be close to his strength. Krillin has technique and skill. Technique and skill, not strength, not raw power. Him holding back Goku's blast was just a test. Because Krillin is afraid. Goku wanted to see if Krillin was still fearful of stronger opponents. But Krillin showed himself that he wasn't. And Android 18 kicked in like a badass wife and helped him. Showing that they can cooperate and have teamwork. His battle against Android 17 I can also defend by saying that Android 17 doesn't need to stop to train. He can train forever. He doesn't need to sleep, eat, drink, or anything. He can train just forever. He was legit designed to defeat Goku, so it's not that much out of possibility that he can just train. He trained for the whole period of time that Goku has been chilling in King Kai planet. It's not impossible. Uh, what else? People saying that Super Saiyan Blue shouldn't be able to get defeated by these opponents. Let me remind you, Goku has not mastered the form. Period. Second, Goku was nowhere close to defeating Beerus. Fuck that. Not even competing against Beerus. Beerus said so. People forget that Goku lost the fight. Goku legit quit. Beerus was too strong. So don't ever say Goku was close. He had no fucking advantage. Goku lost against Beerus. Period. Goku got smashed. Beerus was fucking with him and just testing him to see what he can do. Not 100% Beerus. It wasn't even a fraction that. A Vegeta hitting Beerus doesn't mean Vegeta's guy level. It was a fucking moment of rage or outburst, and Beerus wasn't going 100%. He wasn't even going, I think, even a fucking percentage. I think in the manga it stated he was only going like 1% or 2%, and then in the fucking show they made like 7 And then in the movie, he gives Vegeta more credit than the show where he gives Vegeta crap credit, and he kind of just flicks him on the head and Vegeta falls down. Beerus can still smash both Goku and Vegeta even now because they have not mastered their forms, and they still have weaknesses personality-wise. Goku getting shot by a bullet or a laser is because he lets his guard down. He's too fucking cocky and overconfident and too forgiving of the people that he's fighting. He takes it like a game and not seriously. That's his mistake. That's Goku's fault. Every loss he takes that revolves around him getting pierced through is because he's being a fucking dumbass. Stop thinking it's otherwise. So I'm trying to say that it means Goku's weaker than GT. GT Goku would get smashed instantly, one, by Beerus. Let me just throw it out there. Because if you want to bring up shit that's not canon, Gogeta threw a fucking a spear of energy and it evaporated somebody in an instant. Gotenks pierced through 
fucking the universe. He 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 made a fucking tear in the universe with his scream. And Goku's obviously stronger than Gotenks. I don't care what you guys say, but he is most definitely. So that means Goku, by that just law of power scaling, can easily do the same thing. So what they are forgetting is, I lost track of what I was saying. <laughs> oh my god, as you can tell, I'm I'm way too fucking. I got way too into the conversation. But what I'm trying to explain is Goku isn't weak. He hasn't got any weaker and he still he's very strong, extremely strong. But the people in you I think it's universe six, seven, six, seven, one of them. The one where Kaba, Khalifa, and Kale comes from, they're evolved Saiyans. They're Saiyans that have an increase of potential compared to the Saiyans that Goku Vegeta come from because Frieza may come and fuck their whole shit up. They can own it. Where the fuck? Never mind. But pretty much, in my personal opinion, Super Saiyan was a joke. It was a joke by the time Goten, Goten and Trunks transformed for the first time. It became a joke. It became a joke. It became a joke once Vegeta was able to transform. Once it was stated that only a good hearted Saiyan was able to transform, it became only a Saiyan with enough want. Because Vegeta's not a good person, at least by the point where he transformed. So, in my opinion, Super Saiyan has already been re retconned and made into a joke enough. Goten and Trunks transformed because they wanted to. Because they felt like it. Nothing serious happened to Goten and Trunks. And don't bring up the future Trunks shit. Because that's obviously a reason. You, well, future Trunks had a deep impact moment that helped him transform. Okay, three characters that have had a life-threatening situation or a life-shattering situation happened to them that caused them to transform. Goku, Vegeta, and Gohan. That's it. No one else had a deep moment to transform. Goten and Trunks transform. Okay, Goten and present Trunks transform because they just wanted to. Super Saiyan became a joke at that point. So Kaba, Khalifa, and Kale transforming isn't that out of fucking whack. It's, it's not hard to transform into a Super Saiyan, period, at this point. It shouldn't be. It's pretty much stated that if you just train for it, it's just a genetic trait that Saiyans have. It isn't anything special about it. It's just a genetic. Same thing how all Saiyans have tails. Or, matter of fact, yeah, they evolve Saiyans have tails. That's weird. But it's just a trait. Stop fucking tripping about it. Stop tripping. Chill out. Kel smashing Goku in a recent Dragon Ball Super Episode 100. In my opinion, it was just a reference to Goku's not about to kill a girl. Okay, Goku will kill he will kill he his hands is bisexual but goku wouldn't kill her in the tournament because killing is illegal in that scenario also goku likes to push and test his opponent and see how strong he was strong they are he wanted to see how strong kel was in his transformation so that's what he was doing everything kel was doing was just a reference at that point so you can just chop that up to Vegeta even stated that her form is the purest form of Super Saiyan that a Saiyan can get. And that, you know, Vegeta and Goku haven't even acquired that form. Meaning that it's specific to Kel, but also anyone can get it if they are angry enough or just feel enough of a petty rage that they can transform into this pure Saiyan bloodlust form. I pretty much call it Saiyan Berserk. In my opinion, if they brought Broly back, there would be no fucking reason for him being there. They were legit. There were, there's no way they could bring Broly in. If you make the movie canon, go right ahead. But then you also have to count the future movies. And Broly's pretty much sludge at that point. So, Broly can't come back. This is good. Appre appreciate it. Another complaint is, the, char the, side char the side characters are getting strong. They're becoming relevant. In Dragon Ball Z, near the end, no, in, in some parts of Super, people complain that, where were the Z fighters? They're, they're useless. Oh my god. They're so useless. And then they become useful. Except Tien. Fuck you, Tien. And Yamcha. And Chatsu. And Chatsu. And Chatsu. Fuck. Even Yajirobe was a little bit more fucking relevant because somehow he made it through the district. What I'm trying to explain to you is don't complain about things that you wanted. You wanted the characters to be relevant. You wanted the characters to be part of the story. They are now. Shut the fuck up because when they stop making the characters level or at least get relevant with Goku, then y'all gonna complain. No, the killer is relevant. Y'all like crybabies. The, the Dragon Ball community is fucking crybabies. Y'all are like the most picky group of fans, and there's no way to please y'all. They gave you fucking Vegito, and y'all complain that it has a one-hour time limit? Who cares? 
There's nothing in the original Dragon Ball Z that states that this is impossible just for one fucking hour. Old. The nigga was old. He, he just came out of a sword. It's it's no way of knowing that he wasn't just saying it out of, out of just recollection of thinking that what happens to him happens to humans. It makes sense. Why the fuck would mortals be able to use God's artifacts and shit? It, it makes sense. It has a it has a limit to what Vegito can do. And it's no way for him to get out of it. They were stuck in it. What the fuck are we going to have? A series with Vegito? The, what the fuck's the intro going to be? Like, come on, bro. <laughs> Chill out. Stop trying to... The community needs to just calm down and appreciate and get mad at relevant shit. Frieza. People are mad that Frieza got stronger. Goku legit told Frieza in the fucking story that if you would have trained the form to maintain it, he can beat Goku. Facts. But Goku has Kaioken. And Kaioken can be a... One. Well, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, sixty-nine. Uh, in my personal opinion, Goku has not mastered the Kaioken Super Saiyan Blue shit. Period. The last time he did it, he pretty much had a fucking full body shutdown of key. I don't believe he's mastered. I believe he could use it for like some seconds, tops. That's not enough time to sleep, Frieza. If you, if, come on. In my personal opinion, it's still not enough. Even in his Kaioken form, it wouldn't be enough to be Beerus because he can't maintain it. I can hit you with my, I can legit just rock your shit, right? Maybe I can, I'm like Satama. But if I can't hit you, if you can take away the force of my punch or just do anything, the power is pointless. Power without technique or power without focus and control is irrelevant. That's, it, it's facts. This rant is, you know, disconjointed, but it has points that y'all can agree to or at least try to can agree to. If y'all disagree, we could talk about it in the comments and y'all can cuss me on and say I'm a fucking weeb. But... Obviously, y'all the weebs for complaining about this shit, so I'm just defending. I'm defending my weeb Um, That's about all my complaints at this point. Uh, I think the whole, you know, transformation with the energy in your back isn't stupid. Because the original way it was, get really angry. And then the other way became, want something really bad, Vegeta. And then it became, I just can change it to it. So Super Saiyan transformations were already pretty much stupid. And the reason for why you could transform doesn't mean shit anymore. So y'all need to stop taking this so seriously and stop trying to just jump on something. Appreciate it. This Dragon Ball Super is fucking good. It's a continuation of a story that people love. Enjoy it. Stop trying to shit on your own nostalgia. Dragon Ball Z wasn't fucking perfect. It has its imperfections. Acknowledge that. Chill out. Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Super. Dragon Ball Community. Calm down. All y'all complaints are fucking stupid. And I don't want to know anything else because I just want to hate the show. Get off the bandwagon. Shit on the animation because that's relevant. It's something that no one can debate to. Defend it. It's, it, it's the facts. But don't shit on somebody because it's something was... Come on. Dragon Ball. Chill out. Peace out, guys. This rant was warranted. You know, shit was stupid. I, the fucking community is toxic at this point. God, I, I can't wait for the next episode, though. Peace out, guys.